What are the risks and threats that come with uh, the adoption and, and the growth of 5G technology? Yeah, again, so, you know, I'm a cybersecurity professional. I'm always thinking the risks and threats associated with cellular technologies in general. But as businesses gear up for the introduction of 5G, um, it's really crucial to grasp the unique risks and threats associated with this next generation cellular uh, you know, capability, basically. Uh, the top three, you know, uh, security risks or threats that come to mind, of course, is cybersecurity vulnerabilities, you know, supply chain risks and threats, as well as the privacy concerns associated with, you know, 5G. So if you think about it, right, with the increased speeds, um, connectivity and complexity of these 5G networks, there's a, a heightened risk of cybersecurity breaches. You know, hackers may exploit vulnerabilities in 5G infrastructure, devices and protocols to launch various types of cyber attacks, such as data breaches uh, resulting from ransomware or, you know, distributed denial of service attacks uh, based on new 5G networks. Uh, and just because of the massive number of connected devices uh, being able by 5G is also expanding the attack surface, making it uh, a significant challenge for customers to defend against these potential threats. And then on the uh, privacy concern side, right, um, the extensive uh, data transmission capabilities of 5G networks uh, raise uh, significant privacy concerns because as more devices, if you think about it, Nathan, as more devices connect to the network, and the exchange uh, sensitive information, right? Mm -hmm. There is a risk of unauthorized access to, to, to personal and business data. This includes uh, location tracking, browsing history, um, and other you know, potentially confidential information which could be exploited for malicious purposes uh, or unauthorized you know, uh, surveillance. Um, so businesses, should really look into new cellular intrusion detection platforms like the AirShield, well, mm -hmm. you know, the AirShield wireless airspace defense platform that we have here at LOC to help them detect, assess, and prevent risks from this new 5G you know, uh, cellular attack base that's now emerging. And I, and I say finally, um, on, on the supply chain risk, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with the global rollout of uh, 5G, you know, um, with the global role of 5G infrastructure involves um, uh, many, you know, uh, supply, you know, suppliers you know, now affecting you know, the supply chain, uh, mm -hmm. spanning across um, you know, many vendors, many manufacturers, uh, as they say, and, and of course that in itself introduces risks uh, related to the, um, you know, the supply chain security, whereby you know, uh, counterfeit products, tampered hardware. Uh, could be actually inserted into, you know, uh, components uh, during that, you know, uh, process. So uh, as, as we all know, as security professionals, right, a compromised supply chain um, can uh, affect the integrity and security of that 5G network, right, potentially having these um, counterfeit products or foreign uh, you know, products, uh, chips, you know, basically on the motherboards. So again, the whole purpose of this is it's potentially, 5G could potentially, you know, lead to um, service, disru service disruptions, mm -hmm. could lead to, you know, uh, data breaches via the supply chain and ultimately financial loss if, in fact, they're not monitoring for uh, nefarious 5G communications or chipsets that could be, you know, uh, formed on their motherboards or equipment coming into their um Facility. So, so bottom line is businesses um, should conduct thorough risk assessments, you know, penetration testing type systems. Mm -hmm. They should have continuous monitoring in place for cellular risks and threats, mm -hmm. including uh, the layer zero risks and threats. This is the EMI emissions. We did an article on that just a few weeks ago. Yep. EMI exploitation is, is now, you know, having a significant impact on the supply chain. But our businesses should really look at new ways and methodologies to do to reduce their risk as they start to think about this mass market and critical